You're watching Middle Georgia Pride, only on 41 NBC News at 6. When a Forsyth couple learned their youngest son had autism, the parents say he gave them a hope for the future and brought joy to their journey. Now those words are the motto behind a foundation the couple has created to help families with special needs children. The foundation and its work are what make Steve and Debbie Harbin Forsyth's hometown heroes. 41 NBC Shelby Coates reports. All right. We feel God has a purpose in giving us a child like this, and it's not just for us, but it's for us to help others. After having five children, Steve and Debbie's last child was diagnosed with moderate to severe autism. He um, has difficulty with language, he has difficulty with social interactions. The couple agrees raising now 11-year-old Jacob was a task. Where normal children it would take, you know, five or ten times before they learn something, with Jacob it took about 500 times. It was also expensive. In hopes of understanding Jacob and autism, the couple took him to more than 30 therapists throughout the U.S. We knew that his immune system was compromised. We knew that he also um, had some neurological issues. After the eight years of stressing over Jacob, it led them to create Anchor of Hope, a ministry for families with special needs children. We don't want to just endure this yeah. trial, this struggle, but we want to uh. see the good things, and I think that's what our our goal is for starting um, Anchor of Hope. Since 2007, Anchor of Hope has met the physical, emotional, and spiritual needs of Middle Georgia families. Now it has a 20-year mission that calls for bringing an autism support community to Forsyth. A community that would include a comprehensive therapy center where parents could come and get up to 100% of their therapies on the same campus. The campus will also include living arrangements for families with adult autistic children, education centers, and an industry training center. While this community calls the Harbins heroes in the fight to figure out autism, this family says Forsyth should actually receive the title. The businesses and citizens in this community uh, were the true heroes that came and supported mm -hmm. us. In Forsyth, Shelby Coates, 41 NBC News. And Anchor of Hope is already working with a local church and two Macon doctors to open a special needs school. And the group is also financially preparing for its therapy center in Forsyth. For more information, just visit our website at 41NBC.com.